Hey, good morning everybody. It's Ty Garner here and I'm coming to you from Copper Mountain, Colorado. Uh, I did miss a couple days. I apologize, but just been traveling and getting out here and everything. It's been a little little hectic, but having a blast, having a great time, and I hope you have uh, had a great weekend, getting a good start to your week this Monday. We're fixing to hit the slopes here in a little bit. I want y'all to get a little, little view of the, the scenery we got right out our back door. Uh, the ski lift is right there. We're literally skiing, ski out. It's awesome, amazing, huge blessing. But uh, today we're going to talk about uh, day 20, a prayer for you. And so in this case, it's a prayer for me. Or if you're looking at the video, it's a prayer for you. And, you know, communication is very key in, in any relationship, especially in a, in a marriage. It's, it's key. If you, if you don't have good communication with your spouse, it's going to be bad. It's just, it just doesn't work. Same thing, same thing with God. If, if we're a Christian, if we're saved, if we're a believer, if we are trying to follow him, we have to stay in constant communication with him through prayer. Uh, God calls us to be people of prayer. And I'm going to be honest, this is, this is very, a weak point for me. Um, you know, I've, I've been habitually in, in the Word over the years. Um, that's something that has been a habit uh, for me, a good habit to have. Um, but prayer is one that is not as, as good for me. I tell you, my wife, she's a, an amazing prayer. She is all the time praying. That's one thing I'll give kudos to her for sure, that she is much stronger in that aspect than me because, uh, you know, I, I admire her for how much of a prayer she is, and I want to be better. Uh, and it's just a matter of, of, of pursuing him and, and, and making it a habit. You know, it needs to be, uh, you know, part of everything that we do to be talking to him and be in prayer with him. You know, it says in Philippians 4, 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. So it's just, I mean, in everything, you know, by prayer. And God wants us to continue to pursue him in prayer. We want to be in constant communication with him. It's the only way that we can have a great relationship with him by being in prayer. So a prayer for you is about praying and communicating with God and having a better relationship with him through prayer. He's going to guide you. The more, the more you, you know, pray with him, the more he's going to guide you. And, and the other thing is, is while you're praying, you have to listen. You have to take time and, and, and literally just listen to him. Just be still. It says, you know, the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. Be still and listen and, and just let him guide you, guide your spirit and tell you how you should go about your day. Tell you him what you should be doing at, at, for work, for life, and all that you do. I hope that this uh, speaks to you today. I hope that you will take this to heart and become a person of prayer and, and pray for yourself. Like I said, we have to pray for ourselves and have constant communication with God. I hope that challenges you today. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.